This is Left 4 Dead 2. It is a pretty amazing game that I and many others grew up with if you played video games when you were like 3 years old. But the game has come a long way and through since many updates have been coming out after update recently, well, I thought it was the right time to make a video of a simplified version of Left 4 Dead 2. Just basically like everything that's been happening within the past 15 years that has been out for. And let's go ahead and dive into the video everybody. Left 4 Dead 2 came out on November 17, 2009, following the success of the original Left 4 Dead, which was released one year prior to the initial release of Left 4 Dead 2 back in 2008. Well, I'm pretty sure you guys already know how this game runs and how it works, all that stuff. But anyways, the studio that created this amazing piece of gaming history was no other than the studio Valve. I mean, it's probably one of the biggest video game developers on this planet. Anyways, um, this game, it did introduce a couple different stuff. So first of all, it introduced four new characters who are, who are coach, a former high school health teacher and football coach. He's all about motivation and survival. Ellis, a mechanic who loves talking about his buddy, Keith. And Nick, a shady gambler with an expensive suit and also known for his shrewd behavior towards the other characters. And finally, the, the girl in the team, Rochelle, an amateur news reporter trying to get through the zombie apocalypse and just trying to survive. But anyways, um, what I was going to say is that the game itself, within the first two weeks, sold over 2 million copies, which is, it, it doesn't sound like a lot, but it is a lot. I mean, compared to other games that have been released beforehand, and that's just on retail. But with otherwise on uh, social media, the game was really one of the most, one of the most viral ones. And people were streaming, making videos, but the game still is striving to this day. Eventually through the years, some new DLCs were added to the game and most of these uh, DLCs that were added were referred to as updates, but in reality, they were just basically DLCs that you could download from the Xbox store or even the Steam Workshop. But anyways, one of the biggest updates was The Last Stand. This update changed everything, the entire game, ever since the game was um, released back in 2009. But this was probably one of the biggest updates since 2012, and what included was a new campaign, 30 achievements, over 25 plus new maps that were into the game, and along with so many weapons, PvP and the list just goes on and on and on but this was one of the like as I said again one of the biggest updates that were released and it did mark eight years since an actual update was released by the developers but this time it was created by the Left 4 Dead 2 community which it is going to be a um something that you're going to see a lot through throughout this uh, next one anyways we're going to be diving into the controversy era With every game, there has to be some controversy, and Left 4 Dead 2 was no stranger to controversy too. From weird mods I wouldn't recommend you look up in the Steam Workshop, to the game getting banned in several different countries. From Germany all the way to Australia, just because of the game's gore. I mean, honestly, what do you expect from a zombie game? I mean, they're supposed to be gore. But anyways, the ban was lifted in Germany due to the efforts of Valve and the community around Left 4 Dead. Meanwhile, in Australia, you could play the uncensored version. But I don't know what to say for this part. I don't know if it's still banned. I don't know if it, if it isn't. I don't know, honestly. But that's what it, like I looked up and well, apparently it came up and it's true. Secondly, the game had a boycott even before it was released due to the lack of continual updates from the older other games that have been out by Valve. And this is the trend, which I'm gonna explain at the end of the video, my uh, personal opinion about it. But I would like to say that um, like a lot of people were uh, telling them to um, bring more continual updates around the game, which I'm surprised they haven't still. But I'm gonna make an, uh, like a whole separate video about it. So, and I made another video about it. So if you guys would like to go see part of it, and this is for Team Fortress 2, uh, description is gonna be, uh, there's gonna be links in the description down below. Anyways, let's move on to the weapon and health system in the game. Since the weapon system is a crucial part of the game, it is pretty good from most games. I'll say, it is a kind of realistic depending on the mo mode that you put it on, such as Realism versus, which I have to say, it is one of the best, like one of the best modes to play, especially in the game along with Realism and the standard game modes that we come with the game. But the best weapon, I would say it has to be the shotgun simply just because it's a one shot like that's the name shotgun and then of course the best melee weapon which we can't forget is a crucial part of the game too is the fire axe it could kill a horde of zombies with, like depending on the way how you use it but you could be able to kill a lot of zombies through it which i find pretty cool but anyways with this there has been a lot of bugs with the health system so people have been recently making more huds for the entire game for you to like um to install and then you can be able to see different stuff and you could even like 
customize it. it it's pretty cool which i'll say it's it's pretty amazing anyways let's go ahead and move on to the final thing Now that we have covered the main points of the video, I'm going to be going over with some people's mixed reviews of Leopard Dead 2. Most of them are going to be positive. I mean, a lot of people did grow up with um, Left 4 Dead 2, and I wouldn't be no stranger to. I grew up with it playing with my dad and playing with my sister. And of course, I will say um, it's, it's considered one of the best video games of all time. And you can even look up a Wikipedia or different other pages. It's still considered one of the best video games of all time just because of the storyline and the campaigns that are added into the game. But anyways, um, let me go in and say this. One thing it lacks, and people have been telling me, it's like a lot of mixed reviews, they need continuous updates. I mean, since the developers of Left 4 Dead 2, as you know, the studio Valve doesn't make any like updates in games like actually fix bugs, fix hackers, exploiters, DDoxers. The list just goes on and on and on. So what happened? Well, I want to say this, that there's been a lot of movements for Left 4 Dead series and even the Team Fortress series and other game series that are by Valve and everything. Just because Valve is just creating more games and then eventually they're not, they're like, they're just not updating old games like they should be as, which I honestly will say, please, Valve, if you're watching this, please go to every old game and like update it. Just, just update it at least, like get rid of the bugs, all that stuff. I will be happy as heck. And um, yeah. So if you guys did enjoy the video, do me a favor, hit that like button and subscribe button. And if you want to see more information or anything like that um, in the Discord, go and enjoy it. And if I didn't cover anything, if you also like to, leave a comment down below. So if I missed out anything on this video. But I'm just talking about the main parts. So yeah, that's it. Alright everybody, go and thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Peace out everybody.